The Bahamas could be getting set to see more of a benefit from its relationship with China. The country's leader and several Caribbean heads held separate discussions with the Chinese president this weekend. China has diplomatic ties with a number of Caribbean countries and it has been a generous partner in helping small island states. Opal Roach tells us more about the latest rounds of discussions held in Port of Spain. With a national budget on the table and a number of projects in the pipeline, government is looking for monies to fund those initiatives. It could be getting that help from the powerhouse in the Far East to invest in the areas of agriculture, education, culture and tourism. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie held discussions with Chinese President Xi Jinping over the weekend in Trinidad. A number of regional leaders met there in hopes of deepening relations with one of the world's fastest growing economies. The president indicated that they were going to make a significant grant um, to the Bahamas, that they would make loans that are being made available to the region, um, available to the Bahamas if we so desire, and that uh, he would expect um, relations between our countries to grow even stronger in terms of some of the things that I would like to see happen in our country. Now a major concern to the Christie administration is the stipulation associated with funding from China. Those officials from the Far East normally require that their nationals work on Asian funded projects. There was a bit of controversy over the Bahamar investment as Chinese laborers outnumbered locals. However, Prime Minister Christie addressed the issue. I said to the president that it was important for us to be a little bit more creative between ourselves in the relations because in many instances where Chinese labor come in, we would wish to negotiate a, a higher content of Bahamian labor because we have unemployment and we, we really want Bahamians to participate in the progress that is being made. And the president responded positively. He said that, you know, he recognized that when they actually finance, that they would want some of their experts to be there, but that he will speak to the investors with a view to getting more Bahamians employed. And while both countries hope to gain from each other in a number of areas, Mr. Christie feels the Bahamas can benefit greatly by tapping into the Asian tourist market. The Chinese president told me that, like America, who markets their country as a tourist destination in China, the Bahamas and other countries in the Caribbean must do the same thing. And the fact that direct flights are going into the United States of America means that they could come into the region, whether from China, whether from Russia, etc. But the Chinese in particular proved to be, um, in terms of their spending per capita, excellent tourists. Now, overall, Prime Minister Christie says both countries will continue to strengthen ties which date back to 1997. I'm Opal Roach, ZNS Network News.